Hello and welcome to Steve's Backyard Bonsai. Today I'll be setting the rocks in cement and I will be uh, creating and setting the forms for uh, at least one part of the walkway. I will try and do as much as I can in one day and I hope you enjoy what you're seeing so far. All right, let me get to work. I've positioned the camera as high up looking down as I possibly can within the limitations of the equipment that I have. And the rocks have now been placed absolutely positively, permanently. This is the location I want. Whatever it ends up being, this is it. So I studied the rocks and where they fell on the little stanchions that I had built. And I ended up building a form to pour some concrete. Things I had to be aware of. There is a, a drainage hole right in here. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. Oh, not quite. I had to maintain this drainage hole that's there. So any water that runs down this way will make its way to there or to here. Any water that runs down this way, I'll turn it back. I don't think I have some sufficient drainage. I'm going to drill a, a drainage hole down in here and one in here. I may, I may even put another one here um, just to be safe. And then I'll, see what I have left for tie down wire and, and all of that. This is a long project uh, and I'm trying to do the best I can with it in the, uh, uh, you know, in, in a reasonable time frame. I don't want to take forever with this challenge. This is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. Uh, and as I've mentioned before, having the opportunity to do it with, um, with people watching uh, it is pretty special. All right, so next I'm going to mix up some concrete, pour it in these forms high in the middle, and place the rock down on it and hope I get some squeeze out. Once I'm done, I'm going to lift the rocks. I mean, once they're set, I'm going to lift the rocks, and if they come right off, I'm going to put um, a flex glue between the cement and the rock, and that ought to hold it. Uh, permanently. Same with this one. These forms are made just out of uh, duct tape, very, very strong duct tape. And it, uh, I'm not that worried if in the end this form here ends up closing that side of the, um, of the tunnel. Uh, and that's because water can channel in different directions. So I'm not worried about that at all. Uh, I was at first, but then I thought better of it. All right, let me mix up some cement and I'll come back and pour these and set the rocks. Okay, my cement is all mixed up, I believe, to the right consistency. And I'm going to start fill. I think I have too much mixed up. I'm going to start filling these chambers. Remember, I'm going to want to build it up in the middle. I'm going to want to be neater than that. That's a good thing. Good thing I put this tape here. Building it up in the middle. Now, before it settles down, oh, I also want to fill these holes if I can. I meant to put on gloves. Isn't that nice? I'm not coming in contact with this. It can be injurious to your skin. Let's put it that way. All right, I'm going to try to do, to place this rock on here now and just let it squeeze out and set up. And then I'll clean that all up. All right, I'm feeling squeeze out. That's a good sign. 
and putting it exactly where I wanted it. I think I have good contact and I don't want to touch that again. So before this cement dries, and it is drying already, I'm going to fill up this chamber. Once again, leaving it high in the middle. And hopefully getting some squeeze out. Squeezing it out means it filled all the places I wanted it to fill. Yeah, it's getting hard. Shoot. What I mean is it's hardening. This is supposed to be a tutorial. I'm sorry I didn't teach you how to mix concrete. Gonna... All right. Let me get this rock on here exactly how I wanted it. Squeeze it down. Did I get squeeze out? Yeah. Not as much. But I think I did good. All right, that's it for these guys. They sit untouched now until tomorrow. Now I'm going to get started on building the forms for these. I really wanted to fill this first because this is going to set the height. I think I have to come up. I think I have to come up. A bit on this one. All right, let me clean out the concrete spill out as much as I can. My intention also is to take away this tape if I can, as much of it as possible. It should peel right away. It's kind of tenacious, so I'm not a hundred percent sure. All right, for this immediate segment. All right, the next step is going to involve some more forms. I'm going to have to build forms. Hang on, let me put this down. I'm going to have to build forms along the sides of these to the height that the walkway is going to be, or just slightly under because the bricks take up some space as well. And I really do have to set this height first in order to know how, how to slope this and where to come down because it's going to have to come down either at or just below the lip of the pot right here. I would say just below because water would then uh, not have a tendency to run off. These actually are going to be planting areas or one of them is. so. I've got to be really careful here. There's not a lot of space. So, I think that's what I have to do. I think I have to figure out how to get that formed up or get that poured. Let me think about that and I'll get back to you. I was all ready to make these forms because why not? But I certainly want to make them to the right height. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. This has taken me a while to figure out. It's getting kind of late. The rock came, came loose. So I'm going to have to uh, glue it down. But. It's a good thing it came loose because it'll make this job a little bit easier. I'm not going to have such a steep curve here. It's going to come along the rock.
I think I like it that way. Yeah. So I'm going to have to put some tape in here to secure that over there. This is staying over here, so that's pretty good. Uh, did I cut that piece of tape already? I did. It needs to be thinner. You won't have to suffer through all of this. There's some. Okay, so I want to push that down in this direction. You never know when you're going to need an, an artist's palette knife. So add it to your toolbox. Very handy. Okay, now I was able to push that over. And to get more of a curve, I'm going to push it. Well, I got to secure it here. And I'll trim off the excess. All right, let me secure that as close as I possibly can. I think the best way to do that. To secure the top of the tape. Push it over and push it down at the same time. Okay, this tape's not coming out. That might. And then I want to get this side over more. I'll put tape here to, to seal that. Got to make a little relief cut. Probably not seeing this. That's perfect. So why am I going to so much trouble in the beginning? Why don't I just power away and have it be close enough is good enough? That is an excellent question. I'm glad I asked it. That's because... This, these are outside plants. There's no babying going on. They're going to spend the winter out there. As much as I want to take care of the trees, I don't want to have to pull them out of a cracked, broken container any time, ever. You know, by the time they outgrow this container, they're somebody else's trees. All right, I'm going to secure this more on this end, and when I go to cast it, I will put a piece of tape along the top to hold this in. Or maybe, maybe, just maybe, I can make a shim. push that over. Another use for your on-site tools.
Yeah, well, if that holds, that would be amazing. There's enough surface area to glue this rock down just the way it is. I use a good glue. All right, that's good. Oh, this was hard to do this second form I had to cut it out to fit under the rock you see that <laughs> so you can slide it in I learned how to fit things like that by working on prototype aircraft at one time in my uh, in my working career All right I got to secure that in there I don't want this to be a super long video, so I'm going to probably break it up into two parts again. All right, that's secure. Now I have to bridge this gap here. Or make it so that the cement doesn't go onto that drainage hole. As I mentioned, I'm going to probably have to uh, uh, drill another drainage hole. At least one. We will see. Hope you can still see this. It's getting pretty dark here. I don't want anything to ever happen to this. So I'm going to pour cement here. It's going to level off there and then go down to this side. And I don't know if it'll be a gentle, yeah, I think it'll be a gentle curve down. So this is done. I'll get this video um, at least edited. All right, it's 5.30 now, and I've been at this since just about 1 o'clock. I think I got a lot done. These are all stuck down. This one lifted out, so I bonded it down with flex glue that should hold it forever and always I'll figure out a way to stop the um, concrete from going any further than this uh, tomorrow thank you very much for joining me in my backyard and keeping me company Luca and I are having a blast good night <laughs>